the cheerful heart reading from scripture proverbs chapter 17 verse 22 a merry heart does good like medicine but a broken spirit dries the bones proverbs 15 verse 13 a merry heart makes a cheerful countenance we started this week by spending time meditating on the conditions of the heart today we will be looking at the cheerful heart the merry heart as referred to in the verses about talk about being cheerful or glad or joyful or even having a heart of rejoicing as christians we are called to have a heart of rejoicing a cheerful heart is one that does not come only in times of blessing or goodness but a heart that is joyous in spite of the afflictions or the troubles that may be around. It shows our attitude and it shows the spiritual condition of our hearts. So what are some of the benefits of a cheerful heart? The verse says that a merry heart does good like a medicine. The medicine here is, is defined as a cure or a healing. A cheerful heart makes the body healthy. It has a positive effect on the physical health this emphasizes that there is a relationship between the condition of our heart and the condition of our body. There is a relationship between the physical and the spiritual health. It says a crushed spirit dries up the bones. It literally means it sucks up the marrow of the life from the bones. Another benefit is that a cheerful heart brings a cheerful countenance that exhibits the joy of the Lord. This not only benefits us, but it also benefits all those who are looking at us. So how do we have a cheerful heart? Jeremiah 15, 16 says, Your words were found and I ate them, and your word was to me the joy and rejoicing of my heart. This shows that the more we understand and learn about God's word, the more we understand God's heart for our children. When we fill our hearts with God's word, it builds up in it the hope and it builds up in it the joy. And this keeps the heart rejoicing and cheerful as God would want it to be. For example, our hearts can rejoice because God says that we can prosper and be in health. Or the word says that we can trust in him. Or God's word says that when we pray, he hears us and he answers us or that when we call to him, he will answer us in the days of our trouble. We can rejoice in this word, being confident that God will take care of every situation as he has promised in his word. As we think on the positives of God's word, we begin to put God's word in the innermost part of our minds and it fills our heart. And when we think about it, we, de we decide to even believe it and that's what brings evidence in our lives that he gives us a glad and cheerful heart. So we can decide each day to have a cheerful heart by reading his abundant promises because our Heavenly Father in all of our situations gives us a cheerful heart. Let us pray together. Father God, we thank you Lord for a heart of joy that you have given us. Help us to look into your word, believe your promises, stand on your promises. And no matter what our situation, Lord, help us to know that you give us a heart of joy. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.